Massim with Dia and Lavina Martins make their way to the Premier Academy Badminton Court in Nairobi for one of their training sessions. The duo have often been confused for siblings because of the chemistry they display on and off the court. Their friendship was nurtured in high school when they faced each other in the secondary school's final more than five years ago. I've known Massey since I was in high school. She also started playing the same year I did. We actually we met in finals when we were playing singles. We used to meet at the nationals. I think the first time was from three. That's when I first met her. Mas is the third born of four. She took an interest in the sport at the tender age of seven when she saw a group of children playing. She joined McQueney Girls High School and opted to play lawn tennis in her first year. Lavina was inspired by her elder sisters while at Kisumu Girls High School. I started in Form 1. I had joined lawn tennis at first. And then just one day, one afternoon, I just decided, no, let me just go and play badminton. Uh, that was in my first year high school. Went up to the nationals uh, till I was in the fourth form. I always wanted to play so many sports. Netball was one of them. But I was encouraged by my sister, who is actually badminton. Physically, it keeps you fit. The two dominated the secondary school games, with Masi clinching the national title, beating Lavina in the final. The national badminton coach, John Odiambo, watched their final and was impressed by their raw skills. First, when I brought them to the national team, I had to work on their technique first. Leave alone the ones which normally in the high school. We have the, now the very good technique for uh, a world-class player. Masi and Lavina finally came full circle in Brazzaville, Congo, when they clinched the bronze medal. It was a crowning moment for the two friends who had worked tirelessly for more than four months, fine-tuning their skills. Uh, I didn't expect to perform this well, actually, but with the training we, we had earlier, the preparation, I think we did well. Standing on that podium, watching the Kenyan flag somewhere, going up because of me, and a sport like badminton, it was really humbling. Their training routine is quite unique. Masi is based in Nairobi, while Lavina lives in Kisumu with her family. They don't meet on a regular basis, but still maintain their fluidity on the court. When we get to the court, then I know any time she moves this way, I know where I have to be. It's just a routine, a basic routine that all doubles players use, yes. So when it comes to court, it's just a matter of synchronizing. We just uh, do some shadow dog movements, we train a bit, and then it just snaps, it comes. If Lavina and Masi had won the gold medal in Brazzaville, they would have automatically qualified for the Olympic Games in Brazil. The alternative route is attaining a certain threshold in the global rankings, which are determined by participating in sanctioned tournaments. Unfortunately, due to financial constraints, this option is out of the equation, but the duo are now looking forward to feature in the 2020 Olympics. Reporting for Citizen Sports, I'm Bernard Dong.